the 2021 Combined Federal Campaign of the National Capital Area Finale and Awards Ceremony. Our program will now begin with the National Anthem performed by Musician First Class, Amy Broadbent of the United States Navy Band Sea Chanters. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the So gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the moon's bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. You musician first class Amy Broadbent for that amazing performance of the national anthem. Welcome to the 2021 Combined Federal Campaign of the National Capital Area Finale and Awards Ceremony. I'm Trina Redmond, an employee of the United States Department of Transportation, where I've had the opportunity to proudly serve as the campaign manager for the last three years. Federal employees, thank you. Military service members serving at home and abroad, we thank you for your service to our country. I have to send a special shout out to our federal retirees for their continued support and because I hope to join that club one day. Again, we thank and honor each of you for your service and generosity. During the kickoff this past fall, you met my mom who introduced me to the CFC during my childhood when she worked for the US Postal Service. A piece of the story that I didn't share with you is, I was what you would call a curious kid. Back then on paydays while at the bank, my mom would separate her check from the stub and hand the stub to me while she cashed the check. I noticed the deduction listed on her stub and wanted to know why they were taking our money. She explained the CFC to me, and that catapulted me into a life of service and giving back from a young age. Coming from a family of federal employees, including grandparents who served at the Pentagon, and knowing that my mom and dad supported the CFC, I view it as an honor to continue their tradition and taking it to another level, serving as campaign manager. In between campaign years, I'm always looking for ways to improve the campaign and invite more people to be part of the CFC community. Having events online has allowed us to engage with more colleagues across the country, even in remote areas or small offices who haven't had the opportunity to participate in events and enjoy the camaraderie of the campaign. One of my goals was to make the most of this opportunity. Even the smallest increase in donations makes a difference for charities in the national capital area and across the globe. Thank you, federal workers, for doing your part to make this a reality. Members of the federal workforce and retirees, please know that it doesn't end here. There's always someone in need and there's always a way we can serve. Everyone can do so through the CFC. It's an easy way to pay it forward. No matter what cause you support, it improves tomorrow for our families, friends, strangers, and future generations globally. We have an incredible show lined up for you today, including some special performances and remarks from Children's Inn at NIH, Foundation for the Advancement of Music and Education, FAME, 
Army Women's Foundation, and the National Philharmonic. We will award the CFC NCA heroes and reveal the winners of the campaign contest. And finally, we will announce the chairperson's award and the total raised in this year's CFC NCA. Thank you all for being change makers and for tuning in to celebrate with us the huge success that could not have happened without you. I am now happy to introduce Fern Stone of the Children's Inn at NIH. Hello, and welcome to the CFC NCA Finale and Awards Ceremony. I'm Fern Stone, Chief Development and Communications Officer of the Children's Inn at NIH and a longtime CFC participating charity. Since 1990, the mission of the Inn is to provide a place like home for children participating in clinical research at the NIH. We hope that we can reduce the burden of illness through therapeutic, educational, and recreational programs. As partners in NIH discovery and care, we strive for the day when no family endures the heartbreak of a seriously ill child, teen, or young adult. Your support allows children and families to experience the joys of everyday life, create precious memories, and establish a strong sense of community among their peers. The supportive atmosphere of the Children's Inn makes it comfortable and affordable for children and families to stay for many months away from home for treatment provided by the National Institutes of Health. CFC donations are truly appreciated and have been instrumental toward the Inn fulfilling our mission. In the words of resident Peter, it's a great place to rest, a place to share, and a place on which to learn all the things you didn't think about. You are all change makers for the children and families staying at the Inn and participating in clinical research. In this way, you're also affecting the lives of future generations who will benefit from the groundbreaking NIH medical research. The Inn empowers the work of the NIH researchers who tirelessly find new treatments and cures for difficult to treat diseases. We honor and thank all of you for being part of the CFC community. We are so grateful for all you do to support our charity, allowing us to be there in a time of need when families, while their colleagues across the way at NIH, research and find cures, life-saving cures. You are change makers. Thank you to the National Capital Area Federal Employees for your service as federal employees. We appreciate all of you. You can be the face of change was the theme for 2021. You are all the face of change, and we continue to thank you for being that face of change as we celebrate the combined federal campaign's 60th anniversary. We congratulate all of the award winners in today's award ceremony and celebrate all of you, CFC NCA campaign volunteers and donors, for your efforts to spread awareness about the CFC near and far. Your work is imperative to the success of the CFC and changing lives one at a time. From all of us at the Children's Inn and from all of the CFC charities, thank you and we look forward to serving those in need with you in 2022 and beyond. Hello NCA. I'm Nancy Bechtel, CFC NCA board member representing the Smithsonian Institution. And I'm Alvin Schell. I'm also a board member, U.S. Army veteran, and I work at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. We're pleased to present the 2021 National Capital Area Hero Awards. Heroes are made every day through acts of kindness, from tutoring a child, to giving a blanket to the homeless, to sharing a supportive message to someone in need, to stepping outside to clean in your neighborhood. As change makers, you are the heroes of our nation, serving day after day to keep Americans safe and make our world a better place. We celebrate all heroes in our national capital area and beyond. Parents, colleagues, neighbors, the kind stranger who helps, the community leaders, charitable organizations and volunteers, and compassionate, caring members of our federal family. You're all change makers. What makes these heroes stand out and deserving of recognition is their extraordinary service and support to those in need through the combined federal campaign. 
Each of these four recipients are among dozens, if not hundreds, worthy of being called a hero. But today, we recognize four for their standout commitment to the CFC and being a change maker. I am pleased to announce the Hero Award for the non-DOD civilian category is Marla Hendrickson. She served as the campaign manager for the Food and Drug Administration. In 2021 was Marla's first year as a campaign manager. And wow, did she do a terrific job. She organized a spectacular pet costume contest, which garnered over 300 photos and engaged over 4,000 FDA employees in just one week's period. Her efforts helped FDA reach 126% of their goal. Our hero for the DOD civilian category is Cynthia Odoms Chief, campaign manager for the United States Army. Ooh. Cynthia helped guide the US Army's CFC efforts for over 17,000 employees, always there to support her team. Several of her reporting units had pledge increases ranging from 101% to 287%, crushing their goals. Cynthia is described as a ray of hope and a force to be reckoned with, both appropriate descriptions for this hero. This year's United States Postal Service Hero Award winner is Claudette Dyers. Claudette served as the 2021 coordinator for the Southern Maryland P and DC. She and one coworker covered an entire plant with over 700 employees. Serving in her second year as a coordinator, Claudette's efforts led to a year over year increase in donations. Her commitment to the CFC and to the US Postal Service is appreciated by all of us. And finally, it's my honor to introduce our Military Hero Award winner, Senior Chief Petty Officer Steve Hoover. Office of Naval Intelligence. Senior Chief Petty Officer Hoover served as the campaign manager for the 2021 season. Even while on assignment during the campaign, he was always there for his team, providing regular updates and connecting with his leadership. His Where Are We weekly meetings kept his team informed and his How to Donate cards were used to invite his colleagues to join the CFC community. His efforts led to a significant increase in the 2021 campaign. Congratulations to our CFC NCA heroes. Your efforts and selflessness are something we all celebrate, serving as an example to us all. We admire your courage and strength in all you do to help the causes and missions important to us all. And we thank all of the hero nominators for submitting your entries to us. We see you and we honor you too. Thank you, change makers. We're now excited to introduce Tony Lewis, another hero, federal retiree and founder of the Foundation for Advancement of Music and Education, FAME, for a very special message and performance. Thank you all. Hello everyone, I'm Tony Lewis, founder and CEO of FAME, Foundation for the Advancement of Music and Education, where we improve academic outcomes and music skills for hundreds of youth musicians and prepare them for college and career. And I'm also a retired federal employee of the General Services Administration, GSA, who believes and knows firsthand the importance of the combined federal campaign, CFC, and the difference it makes for all across this country. A big congratulations, CFC, for your 60th anniversary. And thank you to all federal employees and retirees for your service and for your personal commitment to support people in need around the world. I began supporting CFC as a GS7 employee right out of college with a small payroll deduction to a local youth nonprofit. I didn't fully understand the impact of my pledge until I visited and later volunteered for this charity. Boy, was I surprised to see how my donation helped. This encouraged me to become more involved. So I volunteered to serve as a key worker for my office and later for the agency. I am really proud of my Eagle Pens, and I can't imagine the world without CFC. 
My experience with education nonprofits inspired me to retire early and start FAME to help students in the National Capital Area matriculate to college after high school or start a great career. I always knew that my work as a CFC volunteer and the donations were important. However, it became more apparent when FAME became the recipient of support from federal employees. So like you, I am serving the community. I am still connected with CFC as a retiree. Today, we celebrate you and we celebrate CFC on 60 years of giving. Each of you are making a positive impact through your generosity to make the world a better place for many. On behalf of the youth we serve at FAME and all of the CFC charities, thank you for stepping up to be the face of change in 2021. Now, please enjoy a special thank you and happy 60th anniversary performance by beneficiaries of your kindness. Ladies and gentlemen, the FAME Jazz Ensemble. Hi, I'm OPM Director Karen Ahuja, proud co-chair of the 60th Annual Combined Federal Campaign, the world's largest employer-sponsored workplace giving program. I want to thank you for joining me and my fellow co-chair, Interior Secretary Deb Holland, and being the face of change through the CFC this year. Together, we raised more than $77 million and counting. Yep, we do online donations, but we also process checks, so we are still counting the proceeds that will go to charities across the country. The contributions helped make the 2021 campaign an incredible success. Whether yours was a one-time gift, a recurring donation, a payroll deduction, a pledge to volunteer time, or service as a campaign leader at your agency. Together with tens of thousands of current and retired federal, postal, and military personnel across the country, you help continue a tradition of giving that is six decades strong and counting. The impact of that generosity can't be overstated. Our values as a society are on display on how we support those most in need. In the face of extreme weather events, 
food and housing insecurity, and the COVID-19 pandemic, you reached into your own pockets to help and to set an example for others to do the same. So thank you for opening your heart and your wallet through the CFC. Your donations made all the difference in the world. Thank you, Tony and Fame, for your wonderful words and touching performance. Our CFC community is so connected, inspirational, and talented. Don't you agree? We find motivation to be change makers and work to improve our community, nation, and world all together. And it's thanks to our outstanding campaign volunteers that the work gets done and so remarkably well. And of course, this is one of our favorite parts of the campaign and the part you've been waiting for, I'm sure, seeing how you find new ways to reach out to the donors. And these awards celebrating our campaign contest honor your efforts and recognize the impact you had within your agency and beyond. Okay, let's get started with the awards. For each category that we introduce, there'll be three winners, unless there was a tie. One from each of the small, medium, and large categories in that order, we'll announce them. Our first category, executive involvement, which recognizes the department, agency, or reporting unit that best involved the head, the agency, and senior leadership of their organization. Our winners for executive involvement for the small group are Department of Labor, Office of Inspector General, whose leadership inspired their teams by having a contest of interesting hats, various humorous headwear, some of them wore wigs, um, and very creative headgear. All right, second in the medium category is Department of Defense, Washington Headquarters Services, led by Mrs. Regina Miners. Mrs. Miners' support, giving wonderful speeches in her Tuesday message and town hall meetings, resulted in, in exceeding their goal by 43%, an incredible amount. Finally, Department of Homeland Security takes the award in the large category. They had their big gun having their Deputy Secretary John Tian give a very engaging, encouraging, and fruitful message in a video. He quite literally was the face and voice of change. Jenny, our next category is innovation. This is an integral component in the success of any campaign. The award goes to the department, agency, or reporting unit that implemented new and creative practices. Our winners for innovation in the small category go to the U.S. Department of Transportation Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, whose super creative team included engineers, chemists, and aeronautical subject matter experts. They finished the campaign strong by hosting a Department of Transportation-wide talent show the medium category winner is the U.S. Department of Defense Office of Inspector General, which earned 140% of its goal. One of the ways they did this was by including employee testimonials related to the causes of the week to amplify the CFC's message and show how it impacts the workforce. And finally, the large category accolades go to the U.S. Department of the Army. Fun was had by all who attended the 1960s sitcom trivia game on Giving Tuesday, testing employees' knowledge of shows ranging from the Flintstones to I Dream a Genie with commercial breaks featuring news of the power of the CFC. This was a great example of thinking outside the box. Wow. Well, our next category are best special events, celebrating the most outstanding campaign rally, kickoff, volunteer involvement, or other events. There are so many of them. We're proud to announce this year's winners of best special events in the small category. The Department of Transportation, Pipeline, and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, wowing their talent show audience with music, dance, art, and guess what? Those guys got, got uh, prizes with little trophies. The medium category, Victor is the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Resources and Services Administration. They garnered 500 participants across three agencies for their events. And the big one was Park Lawns Got Talent. And in the large category, the winner, Department of the Army, 
Their kickoff video set the bar from the get-go, expressing their passion for charities involved in cancer research funding and pairing one of our favorites, the veterans with the four-legged animals. What do you have next, Curtis? Our next category is the best campaign video, recognizing the most creative and effective brief video promoting the CFC. This year's winner in the small category is pre-trial services for the District of Columbia. This group rewrote their own lyrics pending the refurbished 12 days of CFC. The brief video highlighting various employees was the secret ingredient to getting the agency to surpass its goal in the final days of the campaign. In the medium category, we have another beautiful remake. Performer Janice Duran from the National Institutes of Health Clinical Center sang her rendition of Stand By CFC. Her request to stand by me, stand by the CFC, stand by the charities, struck home with many donors. The large group winner for the best campaign video comes from the US Postal Service. Their unique and professional creation incorporated messaging from multiple leaders throughout the agency, educating employees on the power of the CFC and encouraging all to be the face of change. Wow. That's terrific. Now we have the best digital media. This is a category designed to acknowledge the department agency or unit that made the most creative use of their website, video tools, and social media. Our 2021 winners for the best digital media are the Department of the Army, Office of the Chief Army Reserve in the small group. The, they uh, had impactful slides of doctors who volunteered services and gave lectures on the importance of up-to-date medical recommendations. The medium category, the winner is, who else? U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Well, they had the most fun and cheerful cause of the week, crossword puzzles. Believe me, I took a couple of them, a look at them, they were too hard for me. And the large category winner, is the Department of the Navy, of course, for their unique and informative collection of information, affectionately dubbed the D-O-N. Ginny, our next category is Best Images, honoring the department agency or reporting unit that had the most outstanding posters, displays, photographs, or montages used to publicize the CFC NCA. Our winner for the small category is a U.S. Department of the Army Office of the Chief of Army Reserve for showcasing the, showcasing the exemplary display of posters and photographs promoting the CFC and its 60 years of giving. We have a tie in the medium category between the U.S. Census Bureau and the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. The Census Bureau brought forth an energized and very empowering push to give by creating a state-of-the-art reporting dashboard to track progress to goal. And the U.S. Food and Drug Administration created a virtual cause board, which was a bright and at-a-glance look at employees' cause areas of choice. Finally, our winner in the large category is, you guessed it, the U.S. Department of the Navy. Their beautiful scrapbook style of photos of sailors, Marines, and civilians were full of color and inspiring to viewers. Wow. Next, we have the best publication testimonial. This category recognizes the department agency or unit that created the best essay, publication, testimonial, or feature story on CFC activities. Our small category for best publication or testimonial is the Farm Credit Administration. Their FCA news flashes, as well as their newsletter, communicated key information, news, and messages, including a whole video series on very uh, important topics. The medium category is the US Department of the Treasury, Bureau of Fiscal Services. This was one of my favorites. They put together a diverse cultural histories food cookbook, encompassing all the different nationalities and traditions of the employees and they have, that they have in their very diverse agency. And the large category winner, was the Department of the Navy again. And they uh, distributed newsletters to approximately 16 of their Department of Navy accounts 
that reached over 2,550 subscribers. All right, Jenny, believe it or not, we're on our final category, best overall outreach plan. And this celebrates the department agency or reporting unit that best use multiple techniques to inform and motivate employees to participate in the 2021 campaign. Our small category winner for the best overall outreach is Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, whose memes, gifs, and emojis, oh my, theme fit perfectly in the virtual world in which we are living and working these days. The medium category winner is the Navy Secretariat. Their outreach plan was laid out with plenty of directions, colorful and uplifting photos, and lots of web links to further connect to information, ensuring their success. And last but not least, our final award in the large category goes to the US Department of the Navy. The colorful outreach plan they created is filled with charts, newsletters, causes of the week, leadership emails, and so much more. Congratulations to all of our stellar winners. We hope your work and dedication continues to inspire and grow in the campaigns to come. You leave a legacy of care and commitment to those in need. As we say in Hawaii, mahalo to all of you who sent us your nominations. You made it so hard to choose. What are we gonna do next time? But you also gave creative ideas so that your agencies can come up with even bigger and better things for next year. Well said, Jenny. Now we'll turn it over to retired U.S. Army Brigadier General and President of the Army Women's Foundation, Ann McDonald, for a message of thanks to all change makers like you. Thank you for that introduction, Curtis. My name is Ann McDonald. I'm a West Point graduate, a retired Army combat veteran just shy of 31 years, and now the president of the Army Women's Foundation a nonprofit organization dedicated to empowering, honoring, and being dynamic advocate for Army women, past, present, and future. 2021 was our first year as a charity in this, the 60th combined federal campaign. I am thrilled to be here today on behalf of the over 5,000 organizations that are part of the CFC to thank you. Thank you for your service and thank you for volunteering to be part of this past year CFC. Your service as a federal employee is a tribute to this nation, and you have added to that distinction by being the face of change for the combined federal campaign. Several years ago, when I was relatively new to being in uniform, I had the privilege to be a key worker in the 23rd combined federal campaign. Frankly, I had no idea what I'd signed up to do. It was back in the day of pen and CFC paper slips, collecting cash, credit card numbers, payroll deductions, weekly turnings, and reporting to the chain of command the status of participation. It was a lot of work. But what I personally got out of that experience was unexpected. It was a chance to get to meet so many more people that I would have not met otherwise. And many of them had a story a story that led us to what type of organization they wanted to support or why they wanted to support a certain charity. I remember some of their stories being heartwarming while others were heart-wrenching. But what I learned was people truly wanted to give of themselves to help others for the greater good. I thank you for listening to those stories for sharing your knowledge, your time, and your expertise to inspire the generosity of the federal community and make an impact. The Army Women's Foundation celebrates and preserves the history and achievements of women who serve in the Army. The donations we receive from the campaign not only help to honor the history of Army women in their service, the donations also help to empower and assist Army women achieve their academic and career goals through scholarships mentorship programs, information sharing, and opportunities to network. The Army Women's Foundation stands with Army women, past, present, and future, to make sure service women are honored, empowered, connected, and their voices heard. I'll finish with a simple message. Take a moment to celebrate what you've done this year. Celebrate who you've gotten to know what you have shared and learned and celebrate the impact you've had on the millions of lives you've touched. 
and please know it is greatly appreciated. On behalf of the Army Women's Foundation and all the charities in the combined federal campaign, thank you for your unwavering commitment, for volunteering, giving your energy, expertise, resources, and dedicating this year to be the face of change. Thank you, General McDonald, for your service. And thanks also to our amazing performers and speakers. And congratulations to all of our award winners. I'm Vince McConey, co-chairperson of the CFC NCA. And when I'm not doing CFC work, I'm executive director for enterprise services at the US Department of Commerce. And I'm Ann Van Houten, co-chairperson of the CFC NCA with Vince and executive director of acquisition policy and oversight at the Department of Homeland Security. We are excited to be here today at the end of an outstanding year. We have a few more incredible people to recognize today. These chairperson awards are special to us. They help us reflect on what was important to us this year and who led the charge. Here are the three leaders that we all look up to in times of need. Our first recipient is the Spirit of Community Award winner, Marcus Johnson. Marcus has been a part of the CFC family for over 25 years. He embodies the spirit of a change maker as one of our key charity partners. Marcus is a board member, musician, radio host, and philanthropist. At the Duke Ellington School of the Arts, where he's a board member, over 550 students are educated every year in traditional high school curriculum and the performing arts. He's also a board member for the National Center of Children and Families, where much needed support is provided to over 30,000 families in the DC area. Thank you, Marcus, for being a partner and a face of change through the CFC. And next, we recognize the Spirit of Service Award winner, Arlise Upton Key, for her longtime commitment to the CFC NCA as a federal employee. A true public servant, Arlise retired from the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation at the end of 2021, after 35 years of service. She held many important posts throughout her career, including deputy to the chairman and chief operating officer. Arlise was one of the leaders who helped guide our country through two financial crises. She caught the CFC bug as a young attorney and never looked back. She rose to become the CFC vice chairman for the, for the FDIC and held that position for over 20 years. Arlise, we thank you for your lifelong commitment to our country and your service through the CFC. You are a true change maker and we look forward to your involvement with us as a retiree. And finally, it's a personal honor and privilege to present the Leadership Award this year. Our CFC Leadership Award goes to the U.S. Department of Commerce's secretary and my boss, Gina Raimondo. The Department of Commerce, under Secretary Raimondo's leadership, achieved 120% of their CFC goal. Her active engagement and leadership with CFC have been critical to that success. And she's here today to share a message with us and accept the award. Ladies and gentlemen, Secretary Gina Raimondo. Federal colleagues and community leaders, on behalf of the team here at the Department of Commerce, it's an honor to accept the combined federal campaign of the National Capital Area's Leadership Award. We were proud to help the CFC celebrate 60 years of impactful work and so grateful for your recognition of our efforts. Through this program, our federal government colleagues, united to improve our communities, lend a helping hand and spread hope around the world. Their work represents the highest ideals of public service. I'm especially proud that the Commerce Department exceeded our goal by 120 percent. It reflects the same dedication and commitment that I see every day from our employees who go above and beyond in support of America's workers, families, and businesses. I also want to recognize the Census Bureau for leading our CFC effort over the past year, including Acting Director Ron Jarman, 
Chief Administrative Officer David Ziaya and their entire team. Their attentiveness and creativity helped to transform our campaign. Though today is a reason to celebrate, we also know our work is not over. We need to continue volunteering in our communities, engaging with the next generation of change makers, finding causes that need our support, and improving opportunities for all Americans. So thank you to all of the change makers who are part of the CFC. I'm excited to continue working with you to make a difference throughout our communities. Congratulations to each of you, and thank you for your gift to us. These awards are nominal compared to the impact each of you has brought to the lives around you. Some who may never know you directly help them, but they will always feel the effects of your good work. It takes a special kind of person to give back and make the choice to be a change maker. Federal employees, veterans, retirees, charities, all of you are change makers. We have had a successful year and we want to recognize everyone's efforts to make those results happen. It's been a privilege for Anne and myself to serve as co-chairpersons of the CFC NCA and watch the magic of the campaign unfold and see the progress that you made along the way. You all have been waiting for this moment to hear the culmination of our efforts. Now, you may remember our goal for this year was to raise $35 million to help our local communities, nation, and the world. Well, let us be the first to tell you, we really exceeded that total this year. In fact, you raised over $37.3 million for our charities. Yay! And in addition, you pledged over 43,000 volunteer hours. This feat is a testament to how committed you are to being a change maker and bettering our world. We see and we thank each of you for your contributions and being part of our special caring community. You heard the call to service and selflessly answered with valor. Through your creative outreach, your storytelling, your passion and care, we will make many dreams come true and change many lives this year. Already your gifts are making a difference. They are filling backpacks, they are protecting the endangered species, they are cleaning watersheds, they are defending communities against major storms. They are sending aid overseas and helping our frontline hospitals. You made real change happen. Now, if you're a new federal employee and you're watching today, the CFC is actually open to you right now. Within 30 days of starting a new position, whether you're brand new to the federal government or changing departments or agencies, you can make or transfer your pledge through the CFC. Just head to givecfc.org to find out how. And follow along throughout the summer for updates and news as we get closer to the fall campaign. We look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Thank you for joining us today and for a very special campaign year. The incredible efforts, you, efforts have resulted in true success. And it's thanks to each of you that meaningful change and impact is possible. Now that the campaign is over, I need you to get out there and continue to volunteer. Reconnect with your neighbors, stay engaged with your communities. The impact never truly ceases, and it's up to each of us to continue serving and improving the world around us. As President Kennedy once said, to whom much is given, much is required. Our work is never done, but that's why we chose this path as federal employees. And I look forward to continue serving alongside each one of you. You are change makers, and you will always embody that ideal. We look to each of you and thank you for your devotion, your commitment, and your service. To whom much is given, much is required. Thank you all. We wish you health and happiness this year. We will see you again soon. Now, we have one special performance by the National Philharmonic to take us away. And until this fall, thank you, change makers, and see you soon. 
Thank you everyone for joining us today for the 2021 CFCNCA finale and award ceremony, commemorating the 60th anniversary of the CFC. I'm Jim Kelly, President and CEO of the National Philharmonic, a CFC participating charity. We extend our gratitude to all of you, the CFCNCA Board of Directors, agency leadership, campaign volunteers, donors, and retirees for your generous support and contributions through the CFC. Your donations allow organizations like NatPhil to provide quality musical performances, education and community engagement initiatives that enrich thousands in the Washington DC metro region. Through music, we not only entertain, we leverage educational opportunities. Thanks again to all National Capital Area federal employees and retirees for being change makers. We appreciate your support of NatPhil and all of the important causes through the CFC. Now please enjoy the special closing performance from NatPhil. See you in the 2022 campaign. Thank you all for joining us for the finale and award ceremony. We are so grateful for each and every one of you, federal employees, retirees, and all of you who are part of the greater CFC community for being part of our 60th anniversary campaign. We are so proud of how far we've come and we are so excited for the next 60 years. A huge thank you to the National Philharmonic for that amazing performance and all of our performers and speakers today. And to all of our CFC charities, we thank you for all that you do. This concludes our program today and thank you for being the face of change. See you in the fall.